This is so weird. This is weirdly weird. Wow, look at you. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. <laughs> Thanks, is there anything you thought it would be? No, everything and more. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Um, like you said, my name is Jake Smith, and it is truly my honor to stand here as Jimmy's best man today. Good evening, everyone. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jennifer, and I am the younger sister of this lovely bride right here. Jimmy is one of the kindest, most driven and committed people I know. Jimmy's also insanely smart. And Jimmy's not just the kind of like book smart, he's the kind of smart when you ask a rhetorical question, you get an answer. No matter what the circumstances, you could just be talking to yourself and you'll get the answer whether you ask for it or not. Danielle, I have known you for a very long time, surprisingly. <laughs> In fact, my whole life. But honestly, I can say, not only have you been an amazing sister to me, but also one of my best friends. I love how excited you get over small things and the light that shows in your eyes as you excitedly talk about it. <laughs> I love your compassion that you have for your work and the students that you have worked with and will continue to work with. They are gifted with your presence in their life. I love the gifts that you have and all the ways God has made your heart. I love you and I'm so proud of who you are. Danielle, first of all, you look beautiful today. The only time I've seen Jimmy happier than when he got into med school was when you said yes to marrying him. We're all so happy that this happened. Um, it's just been a joy to be here and witness everything that's happening today. <laughs> oh my goodness. You look beautiful. Well, this relationship began as a brother and sister by way of college dorm. And then a friendship was forged, and that strikes me as a really good foundation on which to build, on which to become lovers of God and lovers of each other, companions to one another and participant in God's kingdom work. What would a wedding be without people with whom to celebrate? So on behalf of these two, again, thanks for coming and for the part that you have played in their lives up to this point. And I invite you to consider the words spoken here today to be equally intended for your heart, for your marriage, and for your relationships. You sent out invitations for us to join you this day, but might we consider at the outset here that it's actually God who's doing the inviting. He, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, a community of three yet one, He is, they are, truly inviting you into their life, into their oneness. And the oneness you seek with each other is only possible as you come to know better this God of oneness as He helps you walk toward Him. And now by the power given me as a minister of Christ, I feel powerful. <laughs> I pronounce you husband and wife, and it never it sounds like a weird sentence, but you can kiss. <laughs> Jimmy, you are the love of my life. That is a phrase that is thrown around so flippantly in our culture, but what I mean by that is that you are the person I have chosen to love for the rest of my days. You are my safe place. You are my constant best friend and my supporter. You're my uplifter, 
my jokester, and you are my very best friend. You have a gift and ability to open people up and make them feel like they can be themselves, even if they're complete strangers. You are passionate, you are kind, you are humorous, and you are wise. These things are just a few of the countless qualities that I love about you. Danielle Elise, you are my best friend, the one that I can confide in, in my unconditional love. You mean everything to me, and I'm so excited to enter into this new journey with you by my side. I know that it is only through an outpouring of love from the Father to me that I'm able to do so. I promise to continue to pursue my relationship and love for my Creator. It's hard to believe this is real, and that I'm not dreaming, and that I'm marrying my true love and my best friend. From our first interactions, I knew you were different, and there was something special about you. I knew I loved you from the moment we met, and I have been helplessly lost in your eyes ever since. I vow to pursue the Lord and to lean fast into Him for wisdom and strength and to listen for His voice always. He is the true source of our strength. I love you, James Caleb, and I will love you today and for the rest of my days. I'm looking forward to learning with you, growing with you, and one day starting a family with you. I'm looking forward to stepping out in faith wherever God may call us, whether into certainty or uncertainty, because I know that you are the one with whom I'm meant to walk. And together, we'll pursue our God and serve Him all of our days. I'm so excited to start this journey with you.